the floor made up in robot. Once nestled within the archives of Nickelodeon, there existed an infamous lost episode of SpongeBob SquarePants, called Distortion. This elusive installment wasn't like the cheerful escapades viewers were accustomed to. It was the creation of a disgruntled animator, Lucas, whose bitterness had brewed within the confines of the animation studio. Lucas had once been an enthusiastic artist, pouring heart and soul into the vibrant world of Bikini Bottom. But as time passed, his ideas clashed with the show's direction. Dismissed and disheartened, he plotted his revenge within the frames of an episode meant never to see the light of day. The forbidden episode began with a title card that did not have the typical Spongebob-themed font, and instead had a more plain-styled sans-serif font. The episode itself began innocently enough, with Spongebob, Patrick and Sandy going about their usual day, frolicking amidst the vibrant coral reefs. Yet, as the familiar scenery unfolded, a subtle unease began to creep in. Colors dulled, the usually cheerful soundtrack turned discordant, and the characters' expressions grew distorted, as if marred by an unseen malevolence. The initial scenes were deceptively mundane, but a sense of impending dread lingered in the air. SpongeBob's pineapple home, typically a symbol of comfort, twisted and contorted into a grotesque, nightmarish structure, a sprawling, thorn-riddled labyrinth that distorted reality with each turn. As the narrative delved deeper, the once humorous interactions among the characters warped into unsettling, surreal scenarios. Patrick's infectious laughter echoed with an otherworldly distortion, an eerie cacophony that sent shivers down the spine. Sandy's scientific endeavors turned into horrifying experiments, blending her cheerful disposition with a menacing curiosity. The animation itself became a macabre canvas, distorting familiar faces and locales into nightmarish phantasms. SpongeBob's infectious giggle turned into a haunting, discordant sound that reverberated through the eerie landscape of his pineapple maze. Scenes that once exuded warmth and camaraderie twisted into unsettling displays of dissonance and discomfort. The climax of the lost episode plunged into a realm of nightmarish horror, defying the jovial essence of the beloved show. Characters were consumed by their own fears and insecurities, manifesting in ghastly forms that defied logic and reason. The boundaries between reality and surreal nightmare blurred, leaving viewers unsettled and unnerved. Nickelodeon swiftly intervened, halting the episode's production. Lucas was dismissed, his creation locked away in the depths of the studio's archives. Despite efforts to erase its existence, whispers of the lost episode lingered among the most devoted fans, sparking urban legends of its disturbing content. Over time, the story of the lost episode became an enigmatic myth, a cautionary tale passed among animation circles, a reminder of the creative passion gone awry and the boundary between artistic expression and grotesque transgression.